Davis, Trevor, Roger, Delonte, Davis. No question as good Canadian, Burgundy, Hip Hop, Born Artists. Phil Allen, Georgia, Intel, Seven, Ephraim, Ephraim, yeah, um, Then Seventeen Records is also known as the pine, pioneer of the hip hop subculture trap music. There's lots of other law based records, T.I., and Young Gene. <coughs> Cookie Mane has been, been in the game since 2001. They take you to Trap House, follow the second and the third house, hard to kill in a trap is long in 2006. So we're going back to the Trap House. No, it's in 2006. We have the state versus Rock Davis. Morgan was the first Quahal Khan's first gold certified uh, album. He has released dozens of uh, mixtapes of our such as Drake, Lil Wayne, O'Mary, and Barack Carey, and these 26 Clouders for his certain but. Tell Black Beast for my cooking meals first number once in the US hot. Little hot one on their chart. I mean, he, he started out and yeah, he was nine years old. He enjoyed writing poetry as a child with the rap at the age of 14 movies. Left layer on the straight drop record to the he also pressed all the uh, thousand seeds to you know, the streets and linked over as well as records that never uh, sign in or sell. Click. Click those linked over pairs inside. Inside told him when he's on the label left flyer entertainment. He hit there to New York to search the description deal and turn home empty. He was just to Big Cat Head, Big Cat Records, which had decided to form an alliance with the label of the product. Kai has a poet as quickly as he saw black tea or response to them from the boy white tea. His collaboration with a little rising rival genes was so icy. His curious we should do with Tony Blair Records. He continued to work on the ground while the release was Dave Bell and Trap House. I mean, Gookie Main, I mean, He's one of those artists that really is from the Atlanta, Georgia area. I mean, you look at his albums, Trap House and Heart to Kill back in 05 and 06. 07 and 010 was back to the Trap House. And 2010 to 20, 2010 to 2012, the Peel George was one of our projects he was working with. He was collaborating with every big name artist. He did a song. Super cocky, Kansas with Jim Jones, which he would for Jeremiah Simmons in 2006 with Jeremiah. And then 2013, he raised Trap House, three savers, two Cage Bird scenes. And 2014, 2016, he was in incarcerated. He had multiple project releases from prison. He said, "Tell the all by the day he was back to court, which was July 2014. He raises tens on digital digital glue versus group. He raises 13 points in the lab. East Land signed a feature with Marcus Robert Shaikhul and Walter Dajusman." He releases 14 points in the lab. Ten something mafia and carcinated. So he was working, putting out so many mixtape albums while he was still in prison. And while he was released in prison last year, five months early, because he was five months he's been early, trial was detected from the sentence. He released his first single of him on the New Deal Africa's first day of the feds. He appeared in Champions, our first single of good music. A Cool winter album. He got into acting. He used to return to Spring Breakers, which are against Frank Selene, Golden Fast, Ash, Ash, Burns, and Richard Carmine. He began teasing him to become a clothing line called The Lantic, which arranged a pair of two shirts to hide his underwear. He had a very long list of legal, uh, uh, legal rap sheet. I was like, who is who, and then 
He has the controversy with them Jay-Z going back to when he released the single Icy with Jay-Z back in the day. Kaisha Cole, Young Jock, Waka Flock Flame. So definitely put Cookie Mane up there.